What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas. I have got a very special build to show you guys. Now before we get anywhere into this video, I just want to point out this is on PvE, on official servers, and um, this is just a project ship. Um, it is going to be working, I am going to have it hauling things for me, and um, believe it or not, it is just as useful as a normal designed ship and um, will carry just as much etc and the weight isn't an issue. Um, the only issue is uh, structure placements but other than that it's pretty standard but just bear in mind like I said it's just a project I wanted to do and um, you know it was just for fun. But anyway now that's out the way I took um, inspiration from the Maersk line cargo ships, the container ships, and I really, really wanted to make something along them lines in Atlas as a hauler, as a haulage ship. Um, the only problem I come across in the end, really, other than the structure limit which I mentioned, was the colour scheme, <laughs> which is actually annoying because I really wanted the colours of the Maersk line. But um, yeah, unfortunately I can't get that baby blue look um, in Atlas because of the paint in Atlas and Ark that is the same obviously, is absolutely awful with a lot of colours. So um, I went ahead and painted it my like signature colours if you like, which I paint all my ships, my entire fleet, minus the Seawolf, is uh, the same colour scheme of the blue and gold. So um, I went along with that and um, yeah. Other than that though, I really really enjoyed building this, um, it was a big challenge, I come across some issues quite a few times, including which I mentioned later in the video, having to completely demolish this structure I'm building right now. Um, but I did build it exactly the same, so everything you'll see me build in this speed build part of the video is um, exactly like the finished product, in exactly the same position, everything. I just had to... Um, delete it to place my sails because I'm an idiot and I didn't place them to start with. So top tip, <laughs> build your sails first. Put your sails in before you do anything. I've never had the issue before because normally I just build pretty standard ships with the exception of Hercules and um, yeah normally I don't have an issue placing sails after I've finished building any structures. But yeah definitely put your sails in before you do anything else along with your planks obviously. Leave your planks until you finished everything, put them in last, but put your sails in first. Um, yeah, I didn't, and it cost me a lot of time. It took, you know, added hours on to this build. But um, anyway, other than that, I really did enjoy it. Like I said, it was a good challenge. It was good fun trying to um, replicate something. And um, yeah, on the subject of replicating things, if you have got anything you want to see me attempt to build, it might not necessarily be exactly the same, but I will definitely draw inspiration from any suggestions you guys give me and um, see what you can, what I can come up with. I've got a few ideas I want to try out eventually, but yeah, I'll see what you guys say first and um, yeah, I'll see what pops up in the comments or on the Discord. Um, if you want to jump in the Discord, links in the description if you want to contact me on there. But um, yeah, just thought I'd explain at the start what this ship is, what the point of it was, and um, like I've said before on other builds, it's not a PvP ship, it's on the official PvE server, I don't care if your little raft with a cannon on the back can sink me. Um, <laughs> this is purely for fun, and I did, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle on anymore guys, like I said, let me know what you if you've got any suggestions for me to attempt to build or take inspiration on, like I said, and um, I'll see what I can do. Anyway guys, enjoy the video, there's timestamps down below if you just want to skip to the tour of the boat at the end, but um, I have been asked several times when I do builds, I usually just do a tour and I get asked if I could do a build, so I'm just going to do the builds all the time whenever I do anything, and uh, people can like, skip to the tour if they want to do that. So as you can tell, I had a nightmare <laughs> trying to get this angled wall to snap the right way. Um, later on I do find a workaround for it, 
But at this point in time, I was getting super frustrated trying to get this to snap the right way. Um, but yeah, later in the video, I do work it out and um, I'll point it out when we get there. But I actually cut this down. This just kept happening. This took me ages to get this to work. And in the end, I give up and move on and I come back to it later. And here we go, the reason why I had to end up deleting the main structure. Once I'd finished painting everything, I had the entire ship built and I had to delete it. Because this sail would not go in. And none of the other ones would go in near it. Even though it's gone blue, it just wouldn't let me place it. So yeah, make sure you place your sails first. So I finally got back to trying to sort out these angled walls and I found this little fix. If you put a normal wall in and then put an angled wall, you can flip it whichever way you want it and it will stay there. And then you can just, if you want to, you know, swap the wall for a window, which is what I do, um, you can just uh, take the wall out and put a window back in.
and the beast is complete look at the state of it oh boy <laughs> I absolutely love it got it all painted obviously got the figurehead on and uh, yeah pretty happy with it I will say this is right on the limit of the structures you're allowed on the ship um, which I, I kind of find hard to believe. That structure doesn't have as many pieces as it looks like. or I don't think it does, but then I suppose you've got the big ramp on the back and stuff. So, yeah, is what it is. Um, I wish it was a bit more practical, but, you know, I wanted the look of the Maersk line, the container ships. And unfortunately, I couldn't get the colour code to work for the Maersk colours, which is like a really light baby blue type colour. And um, yeah, I couldn't do it, so I just went with the colours I like to use. And you know, it's just a um, nod towards the Maersk with the big central um, mega structure there that the um, steering wheel's on. So yeah, I'll get this back to port and we'll have a little look round it quick. And there she is, all moored up, guys, looking good. I'm super happy with this. Um, I weren't sure at first. Like I said earlier, it's not um, that practical, but I just done it because I wanted to try and, um, you know, like I said, make a version of the Maersk. So um, yeah, there she is, all ready to go. So I'll jump down and we'll go and have a little wander around. And here we go on the back ramp. Got my bronze beard flags up, and um, yeah, just got got a dinghy platform and a diving platform on the back, just in case. Um, well, in case I ever see any high level treasure while I'm sailing around in a dinghy just because well, you never know when you might want a dinghy. Plus I don't like having an empty slot, I'll be honest. <laughs> but anyway, this is the back ramp. This is just to, you know, make everything nice and easy to um, load animals on and off and uh, keep them down there out of the way, nice and deep in the hole. Originally when I mocked this up on um, single player, this was a deck lower. Um, but I ended up doing it this way round after I'd put the deck in I thought this looked a bit better and it would save on parts but it didn't really help me to be honest and this is just hollow under here um, but yeah this is for animal storage like I said so got this platform nice easy access to the cargo bays cargo bays cargo racks one on each side and an entrance into the main structure with a nice little balcony looking backwards but we shall go in the bottom. Got the feeding trough in case I need it. Here we go, gonna uh, fill that gap with beds once I've got a few more points in that on the stats. And this is just the um, like dump area basically, just got some gear in there. And this is the emergency box with a few planks and buckets and repair hammers and a uh, map and plan dump bookshelf there. And uh, Obviously we've got the larder and some food storage there next to it. But down here, this is in the hole now. And this is where I've got my crafting stuff set up and also um, you know my resource box and other bits and pieces, paint obviously, lanterns and um, anything else I need. And I've got an ice box because I have um, two bases up north in the tundra and polar regions. And um, ice is a great way of preserving food, so um, I decided I'd stick this on here so I can bring ice back down here instead of using salt all the time. And um, yeah, just got that on there, and just another spare storage box next to it. Obviously a smithy and an ammo box for any ammo I pick up, and if I decide to stick a ballista on the back for any whales I might find. Um, but I have my, I'm actually having issues with placement. Um, it says I've hit my structure limit even though I can still place walls and I can't place lighting brackets and things like that but uh, like I said I built this ship just for the well just to have a go at making something a bit different really as you can see this is all hollow like a big cargo um, room essentially uh, because the Maersk's, Maersk line holes are hollow the um, ships themselves are just hollow and they're reinforced with like a ring pull essentially around the top of their hull um, which stabilizes everything the rest of it's hollow which is why this is hollow I was hoping to put a tannery and stuff down it like I said I've run out of placement um, that I can use and I've got a mortar and pestle because you never know when you might want one and I decided if I pick it up I'm gonna want it at some point so I've just left them in there 
But um, yeah, there we go. That's the craft now. And down here is just access to the hole, nice and easy to get down and uh, do any repairs I might need to do. And if I run all the way to the top, up both flights of stairs, or f oh, three flights of stairs, sorry, we come up to the steering platform, which is, you know, the top of the main structure on the Maersk line ships. And um, I did originally, when I mocked this up, have a roof on this, and I did get it to allow me to um, use third person even with the roof on, but uh, to save on pieces, I took it off, and um, yeah, it still didn't fix my issues I've had with placements but yeah there we go the Maersk my little nod to the Maersk line carriers container carriers which look absolutely awesome like I said I wish I could have done it the colors the red and the um, like baby blue colors that the Maersk has but um, yeah the colors in this game just don't go how you want them so um, I just stuck to my normal color theme you can see Hercules over there so it's the same theme as Hercules just the blue and the gold and uh, I'm really happy with it let me know what you think down in the comments below guys and also I got a question for you give me some ships I say a question more of a um, request <laughs> give me some ships that you'd like to see me try and build it won't necessarily be an, a replica of it of course but, you know, let, let me know some ships I could take inspiration from and make, you know, some form of a ship based on your suggestion. So let me know that in the comments below also. And, um, yeah, hope you like the build, guys. And again, let me know what you think of this ship. I really like it. I know it's not exactly practical, but it will do what I need it to do. So that's the main thing. And, um, yeah, pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.